Such beliefs also call into question God's perfection. Since God is the pinnacle of perfection, there is no need for him to become anything. If something needs to be added to his nature, such as humanity or anything else for that matter, then doesn't that mean he lacked something before? Which state is considered more godly, the pre-incarnation God or post-incarnation God? You can see that the doctrine of the Incarnation puts Trinitarians in a blasphemous predicament. Trinitarians try to get around this problem by arguing that when God became a man, a human nature was merely added to God's existing divine nature. Since the two natures did not mix, the divine nature did not change at all, and so God remained the same. Can this be considered valid reasoning?